Hi, please refer to the part 9 of this video series. We are looking at some of the important real exam questions on AZE 900. For questions 1 to 44, please refer parts 1 to 8 of this video series. Along with this series, please watch this series, which already has a lot of AZ 900 questions. Together, you will successfully pass the exam. This channel is totally dedicated to help you clear AWS and Azure Cloud certifications. It has some other product certifications as well. Let's jump into the questions. Question 45. There are three questions. Let's tackle it one by one. So it says North America has just single region. Is it so? Think about it. So this is the region United States, America. There is Central US, East US, East US 2, East US 3. If you see, these are all regions. You see this? These are all regions. The interesting thing is there's also something called Azure government. This is for US Department of Defense. Department of Defense, they want their data to be very secure. It is highly confidential because it holds the country's military data, data about missiles, tanks and so on. So the answer for first one is no, because we saw it is not a single Azure region. The second one says every Azure region has, which is correct. This is so because it has multiple data centers. So they can have AZs which has data centers or they can directly have data centers. Remember that all region don't have AZs. So the answer for second one is yes. The third one says data transfers. So what it's saying is data transfer between Azure regions is always free, which is not the case. If you see this, this is the inter-region cost. The inter-region data transfer cost is 1.495 per GB. This we are seeing in rupees for because I have selected currency as India. But if I select the USD version, I will get 0 0.02 cents per GB. Like for South America, it is 16 cents per GB. So the answer for this one is also no. So this is the answer. Let's move forward. Question 46. Suppose there is a resource group and the white boxes are the VMs. The blue box is the resource group. There are three VMs. Okay, Three white boxes, three VMs. The question says, if I want to perform maintenance that can affect the resources deployed, where should I look at? The first thing is, if I want to know where the maintenance has been carried out for which VMs, maybe one VM is being carried out, I can go and look at the service health. This guidance on Azure service issues and it can be used for any incidents or planned maintenance. So we know this is the right answer. Now Azure monitor, that is option A. So this is helpful when you want to collect, analyze and act on the telemetry. Like you want to diagnose the issues with the applications, correlated infrastructure issues that for example, if this VM is down, the database residing on the VM will also be down. See Azure advisor primarily, this option C. It is like your own consultant, your own chartered accountant, for example. It will tell you what are the best practices to follow. Like Just like the CA tells you what are the best practices to follow from an income tax filing perspective to save your taxes, this will advise you. Advisor will also advise you on Azure deployments. Why you use it is primarily for cost effectiveness, performance, reliability. If your costs are running high and you want to improve the cost, you can use this advisor to reduce the cost. Microsoft Trust Center. See, Trust Center is not specific to Azure. It's a Microsoft stuff which can be used across Microsoft products like Microsoft 365 and so on. This is primarily used to enhance security. If you see this on Azure or Azure DevOps or Cognitive Services, the keyword is security, security, and security and privacy. So we will lock this answer and move forward. Question 47. There are three questions here. Let's tackle the first one. So you have a virtual desktop, which is Windows based, and it's saying that it can only run Windows 10. No, it can run other Windows version also. So the first answer is no, it cannot restrict itself only to 10. It's not logical. It expands to other OS versions also. So if you see this documentation, it's talking about Windows 10 as well as Windows 7. So it supports multiple Windows version. So the second one is talking about host pools. It says desktop host pool that includes 20 session hosts. Here the answer is no for me. See, when I scan the virtual desktop uh, documentation, I see this line, publish as many host pools as you need to accommodate. So this clarifies that the answer for second one is no. The third one says the virtual desktop supports desktop as well as app virtualization. So if you see this documentation, it says full desktop or individual remote apps can be published. Hence the answer is yes. This is the final answer. Let's move forward. Question 48. See, all Azure cloud platforms, they are consuming electricity. So if your electricity costs are reduced, for example, you know, in Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal offers free electricity up to certain number of units. So if that is happening in Punjab and there is a data center in Punjab and Punjab up wins the election and they promise this, then how will you know 
what cost savings you are going to derive because of this reduction which tool you will use here so we will use tco calculator so this is a tco calculator you can define your workloads you can choose database you can choose storage and so on and keep doing next finally it will arrive at a cost so this is the right answer for me the other options like server assessment tool see what you can assess is vm sql app service and so on this assessment is used to understand what is the effect of migrating on prem to azure cloud very different purpose it is not used for cost savings calculation database migration assistant as usual this tool is used for migrating your databases it's common sense because it talks about data migration and it will assess compatibility issues whether if you are moving from suppose sql server to some database in azure it will calculate the compatibility issues a very different purpose not used for cost calculation price calculator in azure this is used to understand what is the hourly or monthly cost for running your azure services this is different to tco suppose you are on on prem and you decide to go to cloud so you want to know i will need how many virtual machines so suppose you need 50 virtual machines you need 20 storage accounts you need five sql server databases you will select all of these products and then it will give you the price for running these applications on cloud so this is the right answer so if this person offers free electricity in punjab that is the election promise or during up elections this person is offering free electricity if he wins you know you should use tco to reduce your costs or understand your cost savings because of reduction in the electricity consumption now this reduction can also be data centers using solar farms or solar energy let's look at question 49 again there are three questions here let's tackle the first one it says you can use azs for data center failures so this is important here can you use az to avoid service disruption due to data center failures the answer is yes you can use it suppose these are your three az's there is a data center inside this az one which is hosting a vm white box is a vm blue box is the az so if this fails or if the data center fails or the az itself fails the other az's can still host that vm your service will not disrupt so the answer for the first one is yes let's look at the second one it says you can use az's to protect virtual machines from a region failure can you use it to avoid region failures see in this example these three az's are a part of one region if one region fails like this slide itself fails another az cannot protect it only another region deployment or cross region deployment can protect it that is only multi region deployment can protect it so the answer for the second one is no let's look at the third one see third one is similar to the first one except for virtual machines here they are talking about managed disk whether it be virtual machine managed disk or any sort of database the answer would be same so these are my final answers yes no and yes let's look at question 50 this is a question you can read the question we will cover this in the next part this brings us to the end of this part please subscribe to my channel please refer parts 1 to 8 for questions 1 to 44 do not miss to use this playlist as well the questions are still relevant there are hundreds of questions there together with this brand new playlist you will successfully pass the exam and that is the intention of this channel as well this brings us to the end of this part see you in the next part